Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is the third video in our Procrete tutorial series for architects. In this video, we will talk about how to create this collage look in Procreate. Let's get into it. In previous videos, we talked about how to set up a canvas with custom settings. Here, we will bring a file to start working on it. Hit the import button on the upper right corner. You can import PDF, PSD, JPEG and PNG files into Procreate. If you want to work on the same drawing that we use here, you can find the download link in the description box below. The SD or Procreate file will open with layers like this. We'll start coloring the illustration. Let's check the color menu in detail. The circle here shows the active color. There are different modes that you can choose a new color from such as Disc, Classic, Harmony, Value and Palettes. You will be using the Value and Palette modes most of the time. Value mode lets you to play with hue, saturation and brightness, as well as the red, green and blue values. You can also enter hex codes for colors. Palette mode lets you work with color palettes. You can tap the plus here to create a new palette and start adding the colors you want to use. You can also choose a photo or illustration that inspires you and get a color palette from that. Tap the plus button and choose new from photos. Then choose the photo you want to get a color palette from. Here, you can see the new palette. For this tutorial, we set up a color palette. You can download it from the link in the description box. Tap the plus button and choose new from file. Choose Toffer Collage file with swatches extension. This will bring the color palette. I am choosing a light gray color from this palette and heading over to layers. Select the layer you want to start working on. I am going to the building layer first and start selecting the enclosed areas with automatic selection tool. Then I create a new layer to start color filling these areas. I continue the same process with different areas and different colors. I create a darker gray area for the places where I imagine would be in shadows, and a blue color for the glass material, and a different shade of gray for window frames. I rename each of these layers accordingly. Then I swipe them right to select and group them. This would be useful when there are more layers, and I want to move these specific ones together. I color for the path and the landscape similarly. I keep the original layer and create a new layer to make these color fills. Lastly, I change the background color to blue color to have the sky effect. With this, I manage to create this colored version of the initial drawing we had. Now, we can start shading on these color blocks we created. This will help to create a more three-dimensional look. I go to the concrete layer I created and choose a darker shade of grey and head into brush library. There I go into airbrushing category and choose soft airbrush. What I want is to paint inside these color blocks. If I start painting like this, I won't be able to keep the original building shape. For this, I need to use alpha lock. Alpha lock lets you lock the colored area of a layer and work within this limits. You can clearly see the difference now. How I can only paint inside the building shape. However, I want to differentiate the shading among the volumes of the building. Therefore, I go to automatic selection and select where I want to paint specifically. Now, I can finally start creating different shades and shadows on these volumes and it is possible to understand the spatial relation among them. I continue throughout the whole building part by part. When the darker shade seems too harsh, I blend with the smudge tool. Hold up the icon over here and it will automatically start using the same airbrush for smudging. When I am done with the building, I alpha lock the path and grass area to add some shadow over them. The grass area has a big area of shadow and it is more difficult to blend it. I head over the adjustments there I choose the Gaussian Blur. This will allow me to blur the layer so that the shadow area will blend easily. Now that I created this three-dimensional looking setup, I can finally start creating a scene. For this, we prepared a package of illustrations and brushes. You can use your own illustrations or if you want to use the same ones we use check the description box below. Tap the gallery button and import the Procreate file. This exact file with all the layers will show up in your gallery. Start swiping right on all the layers one by one. After you select all, tap on them and start dragging. Without removing your pen from the screen, tap the gallery button here with your free hand and choose the drawing file. Then tap to its layer menu. Now, you can release all the layers here. This action allowed us to copy all the vegetation to our drawing here. I will create a group with them to arrange them better.
Then I will start taking them out of the group one by one so I can set up this scene without getting confused. I take this background illustration out of the group to make it visible first. I arrange its size, then the layer hierarchy so it is behind everything. Then I continue the same process with all the vegetation until I create a scene the way I want. While working on this be aware of the perspective on the drawing. The things closer to us should look relatively bigger than the rest. I go on and fill up the entire green land with vegetation as I wish. Your scene is totally up to you. Try to imagine how you see this space. Then I bring these two characters so that they would give a sense of scale to the scene. Then I add these birds and the sun to the sky so that they give a sense of depth. I continue making little touches until I am satisfied with the whole scene. When that's done, I start erasing the harsh finish lines of the vegetation. I use the same airbrush I used before. This will help them to blend to the background and each other better. I relocate some of the elements as I try to finalize the look. Now, I can start adding effects and textures to this look. I go to the base drawing layer and duplicate this. Carry it over the colored layers. I start experimenting with the blending modes. I tap the N over here and venture around different modes. It seems like linear burn mode bring a good outline to the drawing. I duplicate this layer to enhance the outline effect. Now using the method we used previously, I enhance the shade and shadows a little bit as well. I will try the same on the windows. The glass also needs some shadows and highlights to look more realistic. I paint and blend with a darker tone for the shadowy areas and I paint with white for the highlights. To blend this, we will use Motion Blur. Head over to the Adjustments menu and choose the Motion Blur. You can play with the angle and the strength of the effect. I add more defined shadows around the frame as a final touch here. You can also play with hue, saturation and brightness of the current layer through the adjustments. Now let's bring some texture to this collage. For this, I import the brush set we prepared, but you can also use some of the texture brushes from Procreate's built-in brush library. I merge two different colors of concrete layers into one layer and start working on a new texture layer. I need to use Clipping Mask here. Clipping Mask will clip the limits of the texture according to the limits of concrete layer. You can clip multiple layers this way. I am also playing with blending modes and opacity to find the best matching style for this texture. I raise the excessive amount with soft airbrush. I change the color of the green background into a better fitting shade of green and use clipping mask to similarly create a texture layer on top of it. Same goes for the texture of the path. I also want to add a pattern on top of the path layer. For this, I create a new layer and fill the entire canvas with this pattern from the collage brush set we imported. I distort this layer to adjust it according to the perspective of the drawing. When I am done with the distortion, I clip this layer onto path layer as well. Then finally, I add the shadows of the characters and plants on another layer which will be clipped the same way. With this, I finalize the composition properly.
From collage brush set we imported, I used the texture brush one and adding this texture to the entire canvas and start playing with blending modes. Soft light created the texture I wanted in a subtle way. Now, I head over to the actions menu and export this drawing as PNG. Then I go to add menu and choose insert a photo to add the recent export we got from this drawing. You can see the whole drawing as a merged layer in the inserted image. Duplicate this layer. We will be experimenting with some effects. Head over to adjustments menu and choose half tone. Here you can choose between three different effects. I choose the screen print version as it brings some saturation as well. You can play with the dot sizes in this effect. I drop the opacity a little to create a more natural look. This is what it looks like more close up. I select the duplicated layer and make it visible. Head over to the adjustments menu and choose gradient map. This brings the gradient library which will allow you to apply a gradient map onto your image. It affects the drawing like a filter. I choose the gradient map called Mystic and bring the blending mode into lighten as this look is giving the soft effect that I want. I play with the opacities of these two layers to make the final touches. And this concludes our first look. We are ready to export this. Let's quickly create a night version of the same scene. I delete these two effects layers and change the sun into the moon. Change the background color to a darker blue and delete the birds from the sky. I export and import just like we did the previous time and duplicate the inserted image. I add the same half tone effect as the previous one. On the gradient map effects menu, I play with the colors of the Venice gradient map. I play along blue color shades. Finally, I bring the blending mode into darker color and play with the opacities until I get the natural effect I want. And this is how we created these two looks from the same collage we brought together. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels for more tutorials like this.